There's a gathering happening at this country estate today. This is the mark. She's been invited to attend, but hasn't been told exactly what the occasion is. Hi, you here for the meeting? Yeah. My name's Susie. What's your name? Claire and Donna. And uh, which one's Kennedy? Kennedy. Right, lovely. Do you want to just follow me? Jess takes the mark and her friend upstairs for the meeting. Let's take a seat on the end, just here. Right, I think everyone's here now. Thank you very much for your patience. I'm just going to go and get Ian now, then he'll be able to explain everything for you. OK. Here comes Alex to explain to the gathered crowd exactly what's going on. Ah, there's everybody. Hello and welcome. Thank you for coming. Uh, before we start, can I ask anybody whose last name is Kennedy to put their hand up? So as you can see, many of you have got the last name of Kennedy and there's a particular reason for that. One of you might be able to help me um, here in this room. So all I need from you is just a little bit more details about yourselves. I don't want to get something for nothing, so we've laid on this raffle uh, here. So everybody will leave with something. Thank you so much for giving up your time and uh, I hope you have a nice, enjoyable afternoon. I'll be over there at the back. So the Lord of the Manor is looking for someone with a specific personal background. Everyone is asked to fill in a form with their family history. But it's in as much detail as you possibly can, that would be brilliant. It's a bit of an unusual situation, but they'll all get a nice reward from Alex's raffle. One for you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. But Jess doesn't put the Mark's ticket stub in the bowl. She hides it underneath. For our raffle um, draw, we've got our neighbours who are going to be hosting it for us today. So if you want to come on through. <laughs> this is where Justin and Colin come in. Good luck, everyone. Yeah, good luck. Some brilliant prizes in there, incidentally. They're posing as neighbouring landowners who've agreed to host the raffle. Obviously uh, a big Sony flat screen Bravia television down there. Jess needs to pass Justin the raffle bowl without anyone seeing the concealed stub underneath. Colin's job is to distract the audience at the crucial moment. So are we ready to start the puzzle? Are we ready? Are you often lucky? You Do we feel lucky? And there it goes. Who's the luckiest? Welcome. You? Oh, I don't know, but you look a bit lucky to me as well. Now for the raffle. The prizes are pretty impressive. So the first prize is the two-week five-star holiday in Barbados. Oh. It's ticket nine, zero nine. Did you win that? Oh, my goodness. Well Congratulations. Okay, the second prize is a 200cc scooter oh. plus accessories. Oh, yeah. fantastic. You go. You're going to look like an Italian Pananero. There you are. Uh, number two. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. But the next prize doesn't sound quite as exciting. Okay, so the third prize is the cheese making weekend for two oh. in Shropshire. Oh, that, is, that might not sound like an exciting prize, but it's a real kind of procedure to make good cheese, and I don't know if any of you. It's we... now down to the guest hustlers to make sure the mark wins the booby prize. Justin slips out the concealed stub from under the vase and hands it to Colin. The big cheese in the room is. It's ticket number three. <laughs> we have a winner. It's a good oh, oh, well done. Well, listen, the structure is lovely. It's gorgeous. It's, do you like cheese? Oh, yeah. The raffle continues. two-week five-star holiday to New York. Actually, everyone else in this room is in on the scam. Ticket number four. Yes. So you. Oh, the Mark has intentionally been given the worst prize to make her feel cheesed off. That way, she'll really appreciate the offer Alex is about to make her. Thank you, thank you so oh, much for doing that. Oh, oh, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Now, um, is there a Claire Kennedy here? Who's Claire? Claire. Hi. Uh, um, I was wondering if we could have a, a word next door, because I think you might be able to uh, help us out here. The rest of you, please enjoy your afternoon. Uh, I shall leave you in the company of these three mad people. Uh, <laughs> mad being the right word. And uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll be sure to come and mingle uh, a little bit later on, but thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Uh, come with me. Oh, well, you guys must be really happy. Uh, I'm so excited that you, that you came. The Mark follows him through into another room, where she meets Paul, playing Alex's lawyer. Thank you so much for giving up your time. I hope I've reciprocated that with a cheese tour. But uh, I've, I bought this property and this land about a year ago. If I've bought this whole thing and I'm developing it and I'm pouring money into the infrastructure, it happens to be that because of your background, just you can help me with this. 
So Alex is currently the owner of this house and land, but he wants the title of Baron which goes with it. And I, I'll be damned if I don't get the everything that comes with it, which is the, the title as well. So this means a lot to me. In order to claim his title of Baron, Alex needs the Mark's help. His lawyer Paul explains. Ian requires signatories, people who have titles, to agree to his application to a title. Because of that, we just need someone who can sign a form on his behalf and approve his application. It's like trying to get a membership to a club, basically. Yeah. It's as simple as that. And, and you have to be seconded sometimes by people who, hold, who already hold a membership. It's really as simple as that. What we need someone to do is to essentially take on a title that exists on the land near here. So the hustlers need the signature of a lord, or lady, and because of her family name, this mark could actually claim the title of Lady of Took, the local area. Our consultants tell us that you've got a 90% hit rate, everyone else is 40%, 50%, and so long as we can track you back far enough, we can use you as a signatory. We need someone who can claim that title, sign a piece of paper, and claim a consulting fee. That's all we're asking you to do. He'll pay you £10,000. I will. She just needs to become a lady, sign Alex's barren application, and earn a whopping £10,000 as a fee. But first, she needs to own a piece of local land. That's where Justin and Colin come in. This is Claire, the wonderful Claire. Soon to be called Lady Claire, I think. <laughs> we own, about, I think, 183 or 184 acres. We decided to give away a small portion that doesn't actually detract from the rest of our policies, mm -hmm. so it seems to be a good situation for all of us. Yeah, but it's, I mean, it's still a valuable piece of land, oh, yes, of course you know, it is. and that is titles. I'm going to basically sell you their land, so that land belongs to you. The minimum fee for the parcel of land is £2,000, which you pay to Colin and Justin, and that will then issue you with the title. Okay, I'm going to give you the certificate, and from that moment, you are then going to sign something for him, and he will then pay you. She'll have to fork out two grand, but she'll get 10 in return, and she'll be a proper blue-blooded lady. We really need people to act quickly, okay? So if you're willing to act quickly, then there is a check for 10,000 pounds with your name on it. But can give you, shall we give you a little bit of time to think about it? Um, the Mark isn't sure, so Paul, Justin and Colin offer to take her to look at the plot of land. Use, the, use, use the, one of our cars outside. Uh, okay, let me get the, uh, let me get the keys from your guy. It's a ten minute drive up a winding road. And it's not the most attractive plot of land in the area. So it's a little inaccessible. I think it's important that you understand, you know, you're not buying development land, that it is literally just, it's gonna be a piece of you in the middle of Scotland, but that's it. What I have to do is I have to ask you if you would be willing to consider it and complete today. How do you feel about it at the moment? <laughs> She's still not convinced. Sensing that the mark is slipping away from them, Paul offers to sweeten the deal. What if we paid you cash tonight? I have to, we have to legally witness a transaction. Yeah, that would make a difference. If we did it with cash. She'll get her reward in cash tonight. Why don't I organise a driver? I know that uh, one of uh, Ian's guys is available. The Mark goes off to think about the offer. Paul arranges for her to be taken to a nearby bank, just in case she decides to withdraw some money. Hey, hey let me check. He just needed the first name of someone living on the street and their house number. Yeah, sorry, mate, I'll try another one. Once he'd established... It's getting awfully smoky in there. In fact, the Mark can't see a thing through the large display windows anymore. And that's...